in this video we're going to focus on the pie slices and what we want to do now is with data labels adding not only the value but also the percentage so that would mean that we need to calculate the percentage of each individual slice and then eventually we're going to add it up in here so it will display nicely so let's start to look how to do this in this video we're going to answer one of the viewers question which is how to add percentage and value data labels in the pie chart in chart.js so basically we have two items that we want the percentage and the value value so we have two data labels we want to put into a slice of a pie chart so this question came from one of my other videos about how to add data labels in the pie chart segments in chart.js and if you scroll down here you can see this question came from jonathan ui jung so a special thank you to jonathan for asking the question and this is what he asked this is very interesting video about data labels is it possible to add a second data label to show percentage for each slice so we have two labels in the chart i eventually gave an answer which shows you a few items and options that you can consider however i thought let me make a video specifically for this because it might be slightly more tricky tricky than i thought so anyway let's start and work on that so the first thing what we need is we need a default code. To get a default code, we go to chartjs3.com getting started. For some reason, my Google Chrome gives this error, but it works fine. And also if you are on Firefox, it works fine as well. Anyway, we're going to copy this chunk of code here. And if you want to understand what this code does, please look at this video that explains the JavaScript of that code. So I'm going to just paste it in here. And once I paste it in here, I'm going to cut this out and once I cut this out, I'm going to just paste that in there. At least that's for me, this title, so I know the title of the video. There you are. So now we have this. What I want to do now is convert this quickly into a pie chart. So to make sure that the size will be uh, visual or visible here or doesn't uh, be too big. So I make the width here 400 because it will become a square shape. Next, what I want to change here is, of course, this. We don't need the scales because a pie chart doesn't have any scale and then the type will convert it into a pie. So now we have this here. The next thing what we need to do is we need to start adding the data labels plugin in here. To do this, we need to get the data labels uh, JavaScript file. So they have the latest version, which is 2.0.0. So we're going to copy this one here by clicking on the center item here. I'm going to add this up here on our file. So just below the chart.js uh, JavaScript library, you're going to post or paste this specific item here. Why? Because this chart.js plugin data labels library is dependent on the values that is in here. So this needs to be loaded first before the plugin can load, which makes sense because the plugin is dependent on the chart.js. So now we have this here. If we save this now and we refresh it, nothing happens because we didn't register the plugin. Let's register the plugin or activate it so Chart.js can recognize we have a new plugin built in here. So we type in here plugins and make sure that this is after the options. So, so here at the curly brace of options, comma, and then here plugins. And then we say here bracket. And then here we type in chart data labels with capital C, capital D, and capital L. If we save this now and refresh, there we are. So now we have our items being shown here. What I want to do is just to remove the tooltips is because it's quite uh, uh, distracting. So I'm going to put a comma here and I will say here, plugins, and let's remove the tooltips here. We say tooltip, then we say enable, enabled, sorry, with a D, and then we set on false. By doing this, it will not show anymore. So if I save this now, there you are. So if we move over it, no more tooltips. So what I want to do next is focus here specifically on this. We're going to put in here, uh, we need to have the percentage. But to get the percentage would mean the following. We need to first calculate how many percent every slice is. So we need to know the total sum of this. So that's what we're going to do here. We need to get this array value. And this array value eventually will be uh, counted together. Because we are going to customize within our data labels. So we will be also using the formatter command. So let's put in the formatter command first. So here in the tooltips, sorry, not in the tooltips, in the plugin, and after the tooltips, put a comma here. 
say here data labels this is a special object name designed for the chart data labels and because we have activated or registered now it recognizes this specific object here or this array so what we're going to say here is the formula say here formatter and the formatter basically gives us the control of what we would like to show in here so in our case we need two things we need to get the value and then while well, we can get the context that's all right and then in here i'm going to say a expression arrow uh, or expression function arrow exp uh, what is that a, a arrow function expression sorry that's the right term if i'm not mistaken so basically it's a function so if you type in function here and you would remove this it's the same thing the only thing is that this is es6 so it's more concise and lesser words anyway so what we're going to do here if we do here just basically now the return and we just say here the value you will see here basically nothing happens why we just return the value if i will say here now a string hello now it starts to work so you can see here this gives us control on what we want to show but now we want two items here so we will have some tricks on here first of all let me break down what is value and what is the context because these two are important items console.log and then here context these two you should know so if i save this and refresh open up the developer tab you will see here now nicely we get here the value which is the 18 i guess we should we should just put this back so put the value refresh you can see here this is number 18 it starts 18 which is correct and then here we click on this you can see this is the context and it shows us a lot of information and what i need now is basically i need to get this array the easiest way to do it is basically copy this put it here outside <coughs> sorry copy this and put this outside so we could say here like constant labels of in uh, data points and then we grab this one that will be the easiest way and then we can just easily sum this value i don't want the easy way I want you to imagine maybe we're not able to do this we're not allowed to do this for some reason what we can do then is we can work from here so what we can do here is because of our context here pay attention here so we are in the context right now and then we go here search for the following go to search here on chart it's in the chart we can go here now to config and from config we go here to data let's click on this this is an object and in the data we have here the data sets and in the data sets we have here the data itself if you recognize these steps these steps is basically this from my chart to config and from config we go here to data and from data we go here to data sets indicating array zero and then we get this here so that's how we really do it within this item here and that's how we're going to work now so let's grab this specific item so how we get there we say here the chart remember so basically here well we can just hover over here and you will see the entire uh, uh, point or the the, the track it's chart.config.data.data sets zero and then dot data which is correct chart config so you can see here this context.chart is basically equal to this here my chart but of course we can use this constant now because we're inside the current constant here it's still being made and it still didn't load this item here so we can use that so that's why we're using this trick here so what we're going to do now is let's go and get the entire history or at least the track of this or the namespace or the array uh, location so config we have chart.config.data dot data sets and then that data set is zero and then dot data again so if i do this now and save this refresh you can see here now we grab the entire array value beautiful so now we are very close to it because that is basically what we want what we need to do here is now use this value here and to we have to sum it up we're going to use the array dot reduce or basically the reduce method for arrays so to do this we're going to put in here a function and this function we can we can call this a sum total or i guess not sum total total sum is the right term 
and we say here we want the total value which will be consistently added and then we have here the data point which is our starting point so the data point is basically this so we start with 0 and then we say data point 18 and then next one plus this plus that plus 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 it will add up consistently until we get the total value so what we're going to do here is the following and then in here we say return the total plus data point basically this here so once we did this we have this done here we can now start to put in the next item well we have this this is our array but what i want to do here is just to give this array a very simple name which will be our constant data points equals this all right so this would mean that this is an array with these, all these values here that's basically why we could just move it up here as well it doesn't matter so much here and this one can be common out so the next thing what we need to do then here is the following we want to uh, figure out how we can calculate now the item itself I'm, or because we have here well let's look what we really have here basically if we're going to do this we're going to calculate here the total amount so how will we do this well we're going to say here the following let's say here constant percentage and this total uh, this total percentage i guess it should be total percentage because it's the total amount total percentage is basically the data point here and then dot reduce reduce here the total sum and we have a starting point here is comma zero so once we did this we can now basically uh, grab this value here and put it in here well, let's see what we will get here so if i refresh here you can see we get now 69 and this is correct because the total array value here 69 you can see here this plus this is 20 or is it 30 and then we have here this is 15 and then we have here another uh, 15 so that's again 30 so that we make 60 together and 69 so we have this here and this should be eventually a percentage so we should divide it we should uh, well we can leave this one as 100 percent so what we want to do now is we have to look through here and what we want to do then is basically this we want to grab the single value which is the value divide by this and then multiply by 100 so we're going to say here the following we're going to say here constant and this constant will be the percentage value and this percentage value is basically the following we're going to put it in uh, parentheses and then we say here value divide by percentage or total percentage all right maybe this should be total value i guess that should be the real term this should be total i guess total value is more better name here so we divide that by so value divided by uh, total value which is 69 and then we say here multiply by 100 so once we did this we can copy this one and then we can put in here the percentage percentage i see i mistaken here all right percentage so if i save this now refresh you can see here we have this this is the percentage which is correct but there's one downside here we need to fix this one or at least trim the amount of decimals so we're going to put in here and this is why i put the, the uh, parentheses already here you can say your dot to fix and then here how many items let's say one decimal so if i save this again refresh there we are so now we have this one but we're not done yet so how do we combine this nicely well you might say say we can do the following we can concatenate them with the backtick so i'm going to use here object lit but no not object lit literals template literals these are template literals I'm going to show you this trick, but this trick is not the right way. But I'm going to show it you so you have two options if you consider. So we have this, we get the percentage value here. Let's say here, this here, these backticks is on your keyboard below the escape button. And basically, this will make concatenation easier. It's an ES6 method of concatenation. So basically, we could say here, this would be percentage. So let's say here, we put here percentage symbol. And then what I want to do here, because we use these dollar signs here, this is eventually a variable. 
you put it in dollar sign with these parentheses or curly braces. So what I want to do here, we can say, for example, sales in dollars. And then maybe we want to put in here, not only the dollars, but I want to put in here the value itself, which is the value where we have it, this one here. How many sales we make? And we say comma here, market share or something like that, or share. Doesn't matter. Something like that. And we have this, maybe we can put it all together. If we save this now, refresh, there you are. But of course, look at this. This is not nice. And you have to, of course, reconsider how much text you should show because this will become a problem. But I have a solution for this, but this solution is not a 100% solution. It will help you to reduce the amount of text. And I would say reduce this text here probably anyway. This and this might maybe be removed. But just for the sake of it, we're going to leave it in here. And then what I'm going to do is the following. We're going to say here the following. What I will say here is, we say a constant, and then we say display. So I want to control the display by making it an array. So if I make this an array, it will put it just below each other. So this is your your alternative to work with it. So to do this, we're going to use here backticks. So not quotation, but backticks, very important, because we're going to copy this here. Let's copy this, put it in here. So we have the sales value here. And then we have another comma, another backticks, and then here for the share value or the percentage. I guess maybe we can just remove this. We just put in here this, and then here maybe here the sales will just be dollar signed. They will see eventually that this would make far more sense, and maybe it's better. And this here can be removed. We can remove this now because we don't need this one. We already have it here up. What will happen if we do this? It will put an enter below, so it will be just below the other one. So now I'm going to return a display, save this, refresh. You can see here now. One is up, and the other one is just like an enter or white space goes down. But you might say, hold on, they're not center. You're correct. Let's fix the final item, and then we're done here. So then in here, we can say here a line, which is a command built in into the data labels or the charge as data labels plugin. And we can say here, center. Put a comma here, save this, refresh. And now you can see, yeah, are, are they center? I noticed that they are not center. So I'm just going to check what's the exact command, but I'm expecting it to be uh, a line. Maybe there's something else. Hold on. All right. So somehow I'm not able to figure it out. I was certain that this would be the command, but I will eventually figure it out. However, for now, this is the way where you can work with this. So you have like these here. And if you would put another one item in here, you could do another one here, which could be normal string. That would be all right if this would be here. Um, uh, company I don't know I'm just making I'm just making it up as you can see here I was hoping to align to the center I thought I did my research on this one and it should work but somehow it doesn't anyway this is basically how you can put in extra items in here but of course you have to really look at it at the size that you have here so if you like this video and you enjoyed it I have something else that you might want to consider as well so there's another plugin and this plugin is called the uh, charge as labels plugin very important here this is not data labels it's a different one because this plugin is very powerful and useful for pie chart and for the donut chart so what this really allows you to do is to put in the labels values percentages but also images and even functions specifically on donut and pie chart slices so this is really geared towards the pie chart and donut chart. So that's why it makes it very powerful. It has some basic features for bar chart, but this one is very nice. I really enjoy this one for pie chart.